Well, good morning, everybody. I am in the Toronto riding of Toronto St. Paul's. Why am I here? Well, there's a very important by election that so many Canadians are watching today. This is a seat left vacant by uh, Liberal MP Carolyn Bennett. She resigned in January. She's now the ambassador to Denmark. So we are here gauging the temperature of what is going to happen today because this is an important one to watch. With me this morning is the Globe and Mail's Laura Stone. Good morning to you. Nice to have you. Good morning. With me in this riding. So the polls are going to open here. The voting is going to open here in about um, an hour and a half from now. So let's talk about why this is so important. I think it's important for a couple of reasons. One, the Liberals are behind in the polls nationally, about 20 points behind the Conservatives. And this is kind of a litmus test as to whether that's trickling down in a riding like Toronto St. Paul's, which is quintessentially a very safe Liberal seat. The Liberals have held it for about three decades. You mentioned Carolyn Bennett, a former minister in the Trudeau government. She's held the seat for about, she held the seat for about 25 years. Mm -hmm. So everyone's watching to see whether this uh, Conservative rise in the polls, and they're about 15 points ahead in Ontario itself, whether that's translating um, to, to this riding. There's also no incumbent, so it's new names right. on the ballot. And everyone's watching too for what this means for Justin Trudeau's leadership if the Liberals lose the seat uh, in, in a surprise result, or even if, if their vote share goes down. Everyone's going to be watching for how Liberals themselves and the general voting public reacts to Trudeau himself. Yeah, that's a big part of this conversation too. So even if they, let's say they win. Yeah. Okay, they win, mm -hmm. but the margin is quite narrow because that speaks volumes, doesn't it? I think it does because look, the Liberals have been taking this seat with more than 50% of the vote for many, many years. Carolyn Bennett won this seat in 2011 when the Liberals were almost decimated before Justin Trudeau came in as leaders. I think the Conservatives would be very buoyed if they do better than they've done in previous elections. And they're watching this kind of riding to see if they can make gains in the greater Toronto area. Maybe not a, a, as, as central as a riding as this one, but maybe a bit further north or in the suburbs. Those are the type of ridings that the Conservatives need to win if they win government in the next election. So they'll be watching to see whether they can make any gains in the vote share here. I think they'll be very excited about that. Can we talk about the number of candidates? I was talking to these guys a little bit earlier on the show and showed them, literally, it was as tall as me <laughs> when you lay it out. There are 84 candidates. The, uh, the largest number of people, the greatest number of people. Look at that. We're showing it on the oh, screen nice. right now. Okay. It's a meter long, Laura. A little ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but the reason why there's so many names on there, lots of independents on there, a bit of a protest vote. Uh, but let's talk about the ones to watch. Let's talk about the Liberal candidate and the Conservative candidate. Look, Leslie Church is the Liberal candidate. She's a former Liberal staffer, a former Chief of Staff to Christia Freeland, the Finance Minister and Deputy Prime Minister. She's very established in the Liberal government and kind of a, a, a big name in, in Trudeau liberal circles. Don Stewart comes in with uh, a, an investment and a, and a financial background. He's running for the Conservatives. He hasn't done a ton of media availabilities. He hasn't done a ton of interviews and he, he didn't go to a lot of debates, but there still is a lot of support for him in the riding. I was out here last week talking to voters, talking to different people who say, you know, look, um, we're a little sick of Trudeau. We're a little disappointed by some of, of the broken promises. After nine years in power, it's kind of natural that that would happen. And, and, uh, and the affordability message um, mm -hmm. that has been pushed by Conservative leader Pierre Polyev is also uh, resonating in this riding. But I would say a lot of people are a little bit hesitant, too, about whether they trust Polyev. They're not quite sure about what his, his policies are, what he stands for. He's a little bit of an unknown, too. So some people are a little worried about taking those risks. But definitely, I think it's, it's a liberal conservative race here, Leslie Church and Don Stewart. A lot of people I'm hearing talking about the mounting pressure on the prime minister to resign, dependent on like the results from something like today's by-election. What sort of conversations are you hearing? Uh, I think people are talking about that and that's never a great thing for for the leader of a party right people are talking about you know if the liberals lose this in 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 a surprise vote i think there would be a lot of pressure on liberal members of the caucus themselves because look then they'll start to get worried about their own seats and they'll say you know, what does my mm -hmm. future hold for the for, ne for the next election that's going to happen next year so i think there will be pressure on trudeau to to face his future mm -hmm. if he were to to lose this by election today well we're watching very closely obviously we're outside of one of the the voting stations opening about an hour and 15 minutes from now. Laura Stone, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much. All right, everybody, we'll be right back. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.